damage control. Kate Anderson, he's going to teach you guys tall versus short tactics. I'm going to be standing out here. You're the one trying to work in because I'm the tall guy. I'm usually using my tactics. I'm staying out here. I'm using teeth. Okay? I'm using that hand. As soon as you start to move in for that punch, Oy! I'm just coming oh. right off with that kick yeah. right there. And it's going to move you this direction off to the right. Oh, yeah. No matter what. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So as soon as I just do that without taking a switch, right, without switching my feet, without taking a step, I have to be able to just launch that left without uh, this doing is, And we were talking about, the, or I've talked about this with some of my students, and you and I have had discussions about this. Uh, like, I don't know what you, the terminology you know, your, your camp uses, but we call it, that's like, that would be the difference between the long stance and the short stance. Right. The short stance where you're just pivoting right. to get that kick versus stepping on an angle and throwing that right. kick. Right, well, there's, there's basically, I can do it one of two ways. I can either take it very, like if you, if you pan down to my feet right now, I can take a really small step with my right straight forward, okay, and get that kick off, okay? Or I can just stand and wait on the guy, and when he moves in, I can just launch with it. It sends him that way, the hands are useless, right? Oh, I, so, I don't want to throw this one. Yeah. I, I, that has to stay in front exactly. of that liver. Otherwise you're really gonna, yeah, otherwise you're going to catch the liver shot, you're going to get a broken rib. You know, it's, just, it's a brutal way to do it. You know, and I found that that's the best distancing tool that I have when I can't knee. When I can knee, that's a whole different story. You know, like if somebody's agreeing to knee with me and they're shorter than I am, you know, I'm going to play the outside game for a while, you know, but then I'm going to eventually move straight in and start coming for plumb, you know, and working in for different things from there. You know, so if I can't knee, I can't an elbow, Generally, I'm going to use that body kick all I can. How would you handle, like, as far as like the foot jabs are concerned? I'm trying to get in past that. Right. Um, I'm just beyond the, the left kick range, and you start going for that teeth. How, how do you handle when, when that I'm guy's gonna chamber back? So you're just going to pull it up and up. The, the big mistake that I see a lot of people make, especially tall people, I was just discussing this a second ago, is a lot of people go make that mistake of dropping it and letting you have it, mm. right? Because now you've got good control of my leg, right? But if I make it to where it's a punch, where I'm punching up and in at a 45 degree angle, it's a lot harder to get that thing I... and control it, right? So Cause then I can get my leg back, I'm cool. Not only do I have the punch coming off, but then I've got the mm. kick mm. and I can come with some other stuff. Can you slow that down just a little bit and show these guys a form of that 45 degree angle yeah, that we were just absolutely. talking about? See, like if I'm looking at his body visually, a lot of people, what they do when they tee, is they're bringing that leg in and they're just dropping it down. And it's not doing anything, it's not effective. The only thing that it can really do, hopefully, is bend him over a little bit and open him up for a knee to the head, hopefully, right? But if I really want to send him on his ass, or I want to make him embarrassed, which you know, in Thai boxing, that's the most embarrassing thing you can do, is I'm gonna bring it up in an upward 45 through his body this direction, right? See, watch, if I hit low, this is a low hit, right? Now if I hit up, see, his body's gonna to react totally different. And that's no fun. Okay, so yeah, and it takes the wind out of you, right? Yeah, that was not fun, and that was light. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just not a fun way to do it. Yeah, see, and it's the same thing with that teeth. So as I stand with the teeth, whether I'm going with the left or whether I'm going with the right, you know, it's a punch. You know, I'm not sitting there and just pushing it. <laughs> how come you got the job? How come you got the camera? You're the one that said you want to do short people versus tall people. I wanted to learn the technique. I didn't want to have it done to me. No, no, it's all good. It's all good.